ooh, this is Trenton, you know what I mean? So that way they get the um, the mindset that it's something that they can support in Trenton, you know what right. I'm saying? So we had to go into their mind and try to give them something that they wanted to support. Right, and, so that, that's, and, and that's, more, that's important because when it's not supporting at first, they say, okay, people don't come out, and you have to keep doing it, keep doing it. And sometimes you're doing an event in front of an empty crowd, but you right. got to do it like a crowd is there. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? It could be two people yeah. in the audience, <laughs> and you're acting like 500 yeah. people yeah. out there, yeah, and it's just that. as important. So it's like you just got to keep pushing, yeah. keep pushing, keep pushing until, you know, you said you yeah. grasp their mind and say, wait a minute, it is something going on in Trenton. You know what? It was... I'm telling you, our first event was so crowded. The first one we ever had Trenton Divine Porch was at the Gazer. It was packed. You know, we had the orchestra from a foundation a school. They had their parents there. We, oh, yeah. could, we couldn't even get everybody in there. It was yeah. so crowded. So the next one, we was like, wow. So the next one we had, we didn't get but like 30 or 40 people. <laughs> Which is still and, enough. And, and it was it was good. We still yeah, mm-hmm. we still give up, we still gave them what was uh a good event and you know and, and something they could come back and talk about but it was just like wow it was just you just felt the difference of energy you know what right. i'm saying but um so we had to go into a, another strategy to say okay we are ha- we have to keep giving them something and start uh, marketing it to them so they could continuously want to come back right and then we also know in doing this kind of thing, starting in, in the city of Trenton and trying to branch out, that there's financial support that mm-hmm. is needed. Like, we can't do this on our own. No. And um, we have to do things, you know, we have to get the venue. We have to bring in equipment. We have to pay musicians. Mm-hmm. We have to pay some poets. And I notice you guys have this uh, support page out there, the Academy of Divine Poetry, yeah. Urban Expressions. Yes. You just put that up maybe about two weeks ago. Yes. And you have a, a goal of 2,000. Yeah. Um, and it's not, and I'm sure it's not for the investing of any of you no. individually, it's for the investing of the movement and for what right. we're trying to do yes we want to uh, mentor uh poets we want to have an online mentoring uh service that um we could get people like yourself and authors to come out and um you know explain the art of poetry to mm-hmm. children to adults who are trying to get into poetry and um try to you know set that stage um, yeah, we do need your support. So um, it, it's it's all about uh, you know knowing where you want to go, right? You know, and and when people start to see that you know where you want to go, they will actually start to support you. You know what I mean? So we're just uh, setting that climate for them. Like you know, we want to mentor people and um, give them a, a, an education of poetry and so set looking, poetry. You guys wanted to find a venue, or you looking for a venue, or just well, what we have a venue. What we just need to get more equipment. <laughs> we need to get the equipment. You like, want to get instructors. You have to pay the get instructors. instructors. We need. What's going to be located at? Uh, what's going to be located right now? Um, uh, I'm not going to give out the location because we have to actually. Well, you are using, we have to. Uh, you have a, uh, we have to settle that. Yeah, we, yeah. Okay. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't want. Actually, y'all need to. Yeah, we got to show you so secretive. Like, even cut, like, you can't. I guess you wanted to be in stone okay, right before you put yeah, it. I, I don't, I don't okay. <laughs> This is the exclusive interview. <laughs> Tell it all. Yeah. Just, just try to get too much out you. No, just try to get you. This ain't uh, you <laughs> they, they that too. Like, no, I can't. What you mean you can't tell me that, bro? It's me. <laughs> with the, the, the camera in the world. Like the younger demographic that's want to be poets, or are you just you know, just older people that's really in the poetry game? Um. That's a good question because that's what we're really after. I, um, we see more of the adults, but there is a lot of young people um, who are um, showing interest in poetry. Um, and we want to actually reach out to them, you know what I mean? Right. And and tap into their, their progress and their skills and, um, you know, try to uplift them financially yeah. get them going book right you know write their yeah. own books write their yes. own stories so they could tell the world what they're going through yeah, and i was asking to that the first event just took me to was one of your poetry events mm-hmm. thing. and i'm just thinking like yeah there's a lot of young kids in trend that have a story to tell they yeah. probably just don't know how to tell it right so i mean yeah you, i mean you did tap into the youth of train that have that can you know put their words on paper exactly and get on stage and express the stuff that they go through in this city you definitely would tap into an under that's exactly oh, right. So that's a, that's a, that's exactly what the Academy of Divine Poetry and Urban Expression is about. 
It's about getting those youth to tell their story and to uh, give them mentors who are able to instruct them properly to um, tell their story so they could uh, actually be heard and felt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a big problem in the city is uh, a lot of people talk about uh, mental, uh, you know, depression mental and all that health. stuff. Mental, mental health. health exactly. yes. And yeah. I feel like poetry is a way to express yourself without having to go talk to a psychiatrist, be on medication. Just tell your story in a yeah. way that, you know, it might have some rhymes, might not rhyme, but yeah. it's your truth. And once you vent, you know, it kind of exactly. get and people relate. You really yeah. like once you express yourself, you'd be surprised how many people actually understand what you're saying. That's why or I, been through with yeah, you. That's, 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 and that's why hip hop is so big. You know, yeah, what that's saying? where the hip hop nation came from. Yeah, exactly. And I kinda look at poetry as the, you know, I, I was about to say like the, the bougie way of hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always, I always, I always like say bougie. He said you don't like that. The poet said remember, no, no, no. Remember, poetry, remember, poetry, <laughs> remember poetry was before uh, hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's like fancy hip hop. You know? yeah, well, it's, not, well, it's, not, it's, it's actually the same thing, like y'all was saying. But expression it's like, of thought, same yeah, thing. Yes. Expression of thought. Yes, yeah, but but we know hip hop was like, yeah. right, hip hop was birthed through poetry. Hip hop yeah. is poetry. Yes, hip hop is poetry. Yes. But um, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of mental health issues in the city of Trenton with our young people. Um, a lot of our young people are ADD, ADHD. Um, as you know, their upbringing and all of that, and then they get into these, you know, these these uh these uh. Uh, four walls where they kind of just feel like nobody knows their story and right. you know they can't be heard and they can't be understood they're misunderstood mm -hmm. because we never gave them an outlet to be able to speak and um and and definitely uh working with our young school age students and our children in the urban community with mm -hmm. giving them mentors and instructors to show them how to do it they would be surprised if it, i never knew that i could even speak like this so well you know one problem is i was thinking when you said not being given uh the time to speak when they were children a lot of our a lot of our parents taught us when we were young stop being grown mm -hmm. so we weren't allowed to participate in conversation so then when we got out in public we were shy little children and uh, the younger children i should say is get them to talk and sit with adults and talk so that when it's time to speak they'll be able to. Yeah, that's what you made a good point because I used to always say, like my granddaughter, she's like me, she talks a lot and she always get in <laughs> trouble for talking too much. And her teacher says she talks too much, she talks too much. And I told my daughter, I said, no, you have to switch it around. It's okay to talk too much. It's okay to talk. You just have to know when to when, talk. Right. Mm -hmm. And yes. then we have to, look, you're right, we were raised with, be quiet, you talk too much. You gotta be quiet, you can't and say And there's grown folks around, yeah. <laughs> no. But it's okay to talk. Talking too much is yes. fine. Exactly. You just gotta know when to do it and have a balance in your discussion. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so this is where um, hip hop kind of came in. And I can speak for myself personally and probably for a lot of people mm -hmm. is that like I, like I grew up with y'all. I'm old school. Parents, you know, you like you don't. Yeah, you don't talk in. Yeah, you can't get down and go in the right. room and play. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You stay out, you know. Or like even um, when you. Like my dad would be like, yo, stop trying to say big words all the time. You know, stop trying to be grown, you know what I mean? But I was yeah. just picking up because that's what kids do. They, mm -hmm. When they pick up, they, they repeat. That's what they do. So anyway, um, for me, hip hop definitely gave me the confidence to speak. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm always mm -hmm. picking up yeah. hip hop. Now, yeah. I differentiate between hip hop and corporate rap. That's my that's my way of, yeah, of yeah, um, differentiating different. the, between the two because yeah. one is a full-fledged culture that's meant to was meant to give us confidence and meant to big us up and give us our Allows us our, our, our strength and our swag yeah. back after all these years of oppression um, versus the corporate rap game, which has something to do with hip hop, but it's mainly about money. So I want to focus on this hip hop thing and specifically the MC and element, because that's what that's what we're dealing with when we deal with poetry. We're dealing with the MC and element. See, MC and is simply divine speech. Mm -hmm. That's divine speech. Now, and rapping is the way, is pretty much the way that urban people talk or people with melanated or just us. That's how we talk. Yeah. It's in we got world. a certain bounce and swag, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Rhythm. That's, Rhythmatic. that's divine speech. Yeah. Now, now divine speech can come in the form of rhyming. And that's where we get into the hip hop and make it rhyming. Rhyming is it can be a form of divine speech, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's where I'm just saying, like, for me, hip hop was a, was a door breaker for me to break out of that shell that you was just referring to. Um, and I... I would like to see things go back to hip hop 
And I feel as though like me as a poet, you know, because like I said, like, I, I want to say I'm a bougie poet because I, you know, <laughs> not my, you know, I'm serious. I had to put it like that, straight like that, because no, no, where you say bougie in the first place, man? I, I, I know where you're coming you. from. I, I do know saying. where you're coming from. I do. Right, I'm right. Bougie. But it's a lot I do. of. I do. Get where you're coming from. I want to hear that. I want to hear that. No, I know. Yeah, hang on. What's your spot? Basically, all right. So it's 2019. You look at hip hop the way it is now. It's basically mumble rappers that you know they get on the track, they have a hot beat. And they just say whatever sounds good when they hit your ears. So that's that's that bullshit. Poetry, rap, that bullshit rap. No, 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 poetry is the hard. You actually take the words and transform into a whole nother meaning, or you're taking your thoughts and transform into words. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's bougie. I'm not using bougie as a negative <laughs> word. I'm just saying it's a higher class of hip hop. Okay. It's a higher. Well, or it's, a, it's a higher well, class. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say this with you, my bro, because um, one thing what, what I like about the spoken word venue is because I can get away with using certain language and words that I wouldn't get away with in like a mainstream hip hop setting. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They'd be like, "What word did you just say, man?" I don't. You know what I mean? And you're not gonna catch them. Well, not only saying, that. So, you know can, I, I mean? can I please? Not only that. If you watch Malik when he's doing his poetry, his expression. I'm talking about his physical expression. You won't get that in rap because you're just listening. Exactly. But with poetry, yeah. you can actually get a visual. Right. Like at, 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 at certain yeah. points, yeah. he might turn to a machine and go, dit, 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 dit. and it, it's just remarkable. You know, so it's, I would say, more than hip hop because it's offering a little bit, not that, not that there's a competition between the both, but it's offering a little more. I just know? think people forget that you, like you said, before hip hop, it was poetry. So poetry is kind of on like a higher pedestal where it kind of like we don't give poetry that much respect when it comes to competition because, you know, it's a mainstream form now. But at the same time, when you live with somebody doing, like I look at a poet, like if I'm listening to a poet, I'm actually listening to the words individually. It's different. Like, well, this is, this I listen to it way differently than I listen to hip hop. Yeah. He wants you to focus on the words. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. We well, listen to hip hop or rap. We're listening to rap. You got to say you got the other stuff. Let me share. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, if I may, yeah. let me share something with you. You asked earlier about poetry getting girls okay i'm gonna relate back to you 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 made me think about a movie remember cooley high yeah I remember cooley high. okay yeah, yeah, cooley exactly. high okay <laughs> the star the star of the movie was Coach really right? coaches however who got the prettiest girl i don't know any characters his long. his partner <laughs> preached and guess what that was through poetry oh, yeah. he quoted <laughs> he quoted he quoted a poet called Mark, uh, um, walter benton Mm -hmm. Were you Pygmalion or God, I would make you exactly as you are, you know, and, and it was it was just beautiful, you know, yeah, yeah. and I that that's where I got my love from poetry from there. When I saw the power of thought can conquer uh, athleticism, like mm -hmm. because uh, Coach East was a basketball star, but Preach, his best friend, was a thinker, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, yeah. poetry has a lot of power. Right. Yeah. 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 It does what you know also, too, what makes poetry, like we know, poetry is the umbrella to hip-hop, and hip-hop branch from that. Uh, and then even story writing and all that came from uh, yes. the poetry movement. But also the reason why poetry is so big is it breaks down the walls of culture. You have poets, you have all different cultures that are poets. But in mm -hmm. rap and the hip-hop, you might have some white, you might have some black, but a lot of cultures are not into this whole hip-hop well, movement. But, that I, I would disagree with because now, now this hip -hop, the hip-hop culture is very diverse. It's diverse, but poetry is more diverse. You go to any, any, any continent on the planet, you can find hip hop. Yeah. Well, I think hip hop is like you know when, when people rap, you, you, you you're you putting the a difference. You know, However, you talk about, you're talking about rap. Now, rap is something else. Uh -huh. now, you, now you're you like providing the cultures we're dealing with rap. Uh -huh. but hip hop. Hip hop itself was an was a, a, a expression for the kids, for the youth. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. I mean, not just black people, but all inner city youth. Right? Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so in the inner city, you found poor people regardless of what color their skin was. Right. I mean, that's why so many people around the world can relate to hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's a coach. It's not just some, you know what I'm saying? It's not just, just the thing. It's not just, you know what I'm saying? It's everything. Right. It's the, the, the swag. It's right. not just where you Well, it's still young, it. too. Hip hop I mean, is only 50 years old. Yeah, yeah, if, if that, old. yeah right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. It's probably it's 45 years 45 old. 45, yeah. I'm, I'm giving it some years. Yeah. 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 Officially, yeah. officially yeah. make your records of hip-hop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like, I'm hip-hop, man. I've been in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was born into this. <laughs> I was born into this, really. I'll tell you really. My first my first hip-hop hip-hop tape was the Fat Boys. Yeah. I mean, I said, my Christmas is like, I want this. I mean, I fell in love with that culture. What was your first hip-hop artist? 
It's not Fat Boys. It's before Fat Boys, right? Sugar Hill. 45 Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill. <laughs> Sugar, Hill. <laughs> Sugar Hill was our... <laughs> that's they invented hip-hop. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. I think we had something before Fat Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had Kumo D. Yeah, Kumo D. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Where's yeah. Sugar Hill? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're the original. We're the original hip-hop. Okay? So we, you know, we know from this group. We know the hip-hop. 1979. Curtis Blow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 70s rappers. You know, before those 80s, I've gone before. 70 rappers, who is that? Man, I don't know that. Came, I'm like no, 70, no, Sugar yeah. Hill. We're 79. Uh, yeah. Sugar 79. Hill came in like 78, yeah. 78. Yeah, 70, yeah. 70, yeah. 70, late 70s, late yeah. 70s. Rapper yeah. delight. Yeah. Rapper delight, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Skip, you're, you're a DJ, right? Yes. That's, that's your part, you play in this whole uh, train of our poetry. You I do. Out. And and um, for the record, when you say DJ, okay, that doesn't mean this you're going to come in the divine <laughs> poetry and we're going to be partying. No. We're creating, my job is to DJ there, is to create a poetic atmosphere. Ah, so right. you're, you're not going to hear, you, we're not going to just go in there, it's going to be a party. It's, it's not that type of party. Don't right. percolate. No, no percolate. percolate. <laughs> yeah. We're creating, <laughs> right, but, no, again, right. we're creating but a poetic so atmosphere. We might sneak you out to the percolator. Yeah, we might, yeah, yeah, we, we might, might turn it up a little bit. And you can percolate all the time. However, we add on what he just said. Now, we know we're in Trenton, right? We all understand sound. We all here. Everybody here understands sound. We understand um, what draws people. And like he said, his job is to come create the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Like any DJ job is to come to create the atmosphere for whatever the crowd is. So he already know. And Skip and Dutta Skip already know. There's certain things we're not playing. Oh yeah. We don't want people coming. We don't want to buzz have over there. He's he he buzz over there. Oh, so right. if, buzz if, regulates. Yeah, let's he, just say there'll be regulates. somebody. Let's say if I go off course, <laughs> there'll be somebody buzz. <laughs> Skip. That's no. not <laughs> what we do. But remember, create the atmosphere. <laughs> In other words, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's buzz too. <laughs> Pick it up, brother. That's we're gonna bring Buzz on stage. Yeah, we're gonna bring him up. Come on, sure. let, let me have my seat. I'm just gonna sit off to the side and still ask questions. Have a seat, man. Let the people know who you are and what you what you do on this part of this uh, tour. Yeah. Bench, the host. Invited me to his his team. Um, I hosted up there with him. This is um, uh, we also family. That's that's my cousin. Respect him a lot. Um. He had a vision, and he was uh, talking to me about it, and, and I, and he kind of moved me into it when he was talking about his vision, and and I guess with him, and and I'm like, and I'm following. I, I see his vision now, and I'm trying to grow with him on his vision to make this uh, uh better for Trenton. Um, I'm lost for words right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I know so I can talk. when I when, I, right, yeah, so you, you talk to Mr. Me, I can, I can, I can Ben. So but right, so I hear camera. that you're 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 the host. You're the host of the actual show. I know that you said you, you kind of do a little bit of security to make sure everything stays in line, make sure the atmosphere stays great, but you also host the show as well. Yes. Right. So how long have you been working with James? For well, about three years. So, oh, so yeah. Okay. So since you've been like at the conservatory, James, yes. mm-hmm. um, Ben has been on board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So can you tell me? Do you see? Can you see the growth? from start to like now that it grew into something that you know probably went far beyond the both of you YouTube vision correct yes because um I'm also like with the host I, I make sure people um seated um that they're comfortable you know when they come into our spot um and then um it was like last year I just started seeing the growth in the where we was at the conservative and we had to get more chairs out mm-hmm. and, um, for people to sit, sit at. So they was about, they was back there with me. And I was just hearing them talking. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, it's packed in here. It's packed. So I know they was feeling uncomfortable because yeah. now I put myself in their shoes. If I was here, well, I'd be comfortable. Right, right. You know, so I start feeling that. that you know, either, so. Yeah, so um, I was talking to Marquis. I said, Marquis, uh, when you get up there, let them know. We, we can ready to grow. I see. I like that. Yeah. I said we can ready to grow. Let them know right now that we're going to um, expand. We're going to move. Yes. And uh, we all got together. We talked about it, and we start searching for 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 a place. And um, Skip found open mic for us. <laughs> and what are you talking about? This place? This place right open here. Arts open arts yeah. uh, 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 Open <laughs> arts. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Open a lot. Arts. We have a lot of people say open okay, arts, open okay. back, open. And um, and we came here. And it's, it's beautiful, and I and I love it. 
So right now I'm, I'm out there pushing. I want people to come and see what we're doing. Yes. Um, you know, with the, with the growth, it's, it's going to be beautiful when you come here. Right. Um, so that, yeah, we talk about it less in the middle. We can say this in the middle and we'll bring it back at the end. Uh, just tell us when the event is, the time of the event, and what to expect. What date is it? Uh, March 9th. Uh, doors going to open at six. The event going to start at seven o'clock. Okay. Um, the food is great. Right. Oh and my you goodness. also, we you're also including food. food. You're, you're yeah. including, so oh it's going to be food here right at Open Arts Pack 146 Route 130. We're in Mastorius, the same lot as Mastorius parking lot. When you pull in, you'll also see on the marquee the sign out there by 130, Trick and Divine Poetry and Lights. So that kind of give you a little way, you'll see that's where you need to pull into. So it's 146 Route 130, and the same lot is Mastorius Diner and Jimmy's, and we're Open Arts Pack. So this is their first time here in the building. We have Skip on the music, keeping the atmosphere right, and we're going to do this thing. You're going to be on stage, right? Yep. So then you also get a chance to see what he's feeling and what's in his head. Yeah, we got um, Marquise Humphrey and uh, Tyrone Gaskins will be hosting the event, and we oh, also... <laughs> yes, yeah, Tyrone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They they always double host. It's oh, okay. and we since we um started that um that um that way of hosting, they they've been doing uh doing that job for us and um it's like one feeds off of the other, you know what I'm right. saying? So it, it gives each of them a break, then they can just do what they do. Tyrone usually does some of the poetry, and Marquise usually just keeps the crowd motivated with his his way of uh, and his charisma, his right. way of doing things. Um, so it, it's a, it's a win-win. If I may, uh, would you explain the intimacy that goes on during our shows that sets us aside from the uh, the the ordinary open mic? Well, what we what we give you is we give you a chance to come out. You can eat, right? You can enjoy music from two venues of band, DJ, a nice setting, uh, the intimate setting as he as he's talking about, and we don't, um, you know, all of our poetry is divine. You know, we don't really allow cursing and all that. But if you do curse, you know, we'll give you that. But we're not. Then promoting overboard, it overboard. <laughs> you know what i'm saying we're not promoting it so it's basically a family venue so you can bring your kids if you want you know what i'm saying so it's that's what wow they just took you out of your yeah, comfort zone huh? <laughs> <laughs> they just took you wow. out they made you a rapper y'all know, you know like you want to do something yeah. you're a rapper now <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you uh, it's so the you, two you, sides you, of gram that's all that is <laughs> well, you, you want to see that uh, oh, no, we got the, oh, the, uh, oh the sign mix you couldn't see. You couldn't see what? Yeah, we're good. So you okay, mentioned. Just give me the. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Oh, let me know something. You know what I mean? You had a shadow on you. People can't see your face, man. Oh, okay. Right. You can't see who you are. Right. Oh, let me know. We we need people oh, okay. to know you, James Grant. <laughs> okay. Well, I can see myself. Yeah. <laughs> but they can't see me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you mentioned. Well, did you tell me that? I'm trying to tell. You know, <laughs> well, he just flipped the script. Hold me, but that's okay. I mean, so, you see his face, right? right. <laughs> Am I good? Am I good? So let's talk. You mentioned Tyrone Gaskins. His, yeah. his name comes out because he's very special to Open Arts Pack. I just wanted to see. So people can see how the people from the city of Trenton came together and how this all happened. Yeah. Now, when we first became nonprofit, uh, maybe about uh, four years ago, we got in touch with Tyrone Gaskins through Jackie, mm -hmm. referring him, and Tyrone Gaskins actually helped us become nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're nonprofit today. So we are a nonprofit theater company. Yeah. Uh, with give it me, up for Tyrone. Give it up for Tyrone Haskins. <laughs> he is <Divine> amazing. <laughs> yes, yes, he's, uh, he's awesome. So, and then with Justice for a global podcast, yeah. uh, he started doing the comedy thing, and we got this comedy thing going here. Um, we're bringing people in all from Trenton and South Jersey and North Jersey. So with him, he is amazing. This is what he do. Yeah. He branched us and connected Trenton Divine Poetry. Yes. So that's how all three made this together. amazing mm -hmm. connection. Yeah. And then we want to see growth even moving forward. Right. So like if there are people that are out there that feel like they want to try to start something and do something that's in the city of Trenton, yeah. I'm telling you, connect with somebody like Justice, who's amazing. Yeah. Supreme Alliance. Yes, yes. Supreme Alliance. Amazing. Supreme Alliance. Yes. Yes. connect with me if yeah. you're looking for a venue i can help you and then you also have them work in the city of trenton you have tyrone gaskins if you're looking to start something in the community and you want it to be non-profit he is amazing he'll work with you but this is how we do it in trenton we get together
together and we help each other. We're not in a pot trying to pull each other down here. We're actually bringing each other up and we're all from the city. God be the glory. And, 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 on the truth of that matter, yeah, I'm just, you're from the city now. Yeah. Trenton, Trenton is really on the up. Trenton is really on the up. I don't um, want to. I don't want people to think that Trenton is on the down. Trenton is on the up. Yes. It's just people people uh, get caught up in some of the media clippings and, and their stories, but Trenton is on the up. I mean, the attitudes are changing. You know, I mean, you get you know, Trenton is on the up. So don't if you're from Trenton, don't don't think that you know you you're, you're not getting your fair share. You you're on your way. You know what I mean? We right. got the new high school coming in. Yeah. Oh, and it's beautiful too. Beautiful yeah. thing, children. You're gonna get your opportunities to. Uh, be educated in a facility that is modern, top of the line, air conditioned, everything. You don't have to complain yes. no more. <laughs> Trenton is on its way up, right. so don't be discouraged. Right, you know and, and Open Arts Pack is also even building some type of connection with the city of awesome. Trenton now with their performing arts high school. Awesome. So we may be somewhere in the house mm -hmm. because we have so many different scholarship programs that we work right now. Well, we offered uh, for this workshop, we have two, and we offered scholarships. And I reached out to the woman from um, uh, Feliciana, which is one of the uh, young ladies that work mm -hmm. in the city of Trenton. Okay. And then she connected me with the person who does the performing arts at the oh, performing right. arts high school. Okay. So we're trying to branch into that as well because the thing is, our young people or, you know, people that are into the arts, the young people that are growing up that you see on television and commercials or on Broadway as they grow up, mm -hmm. their parents were able to afford to pay thousands of dollars and send them to so these performing arts schools yeah. in New York and in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And then we have children right here that are just as talented, mm -hmm. but then there's no space or nowhere to... We can't get them to New York and pay a thousand dollars, but the quality of the workshops that we have, that they are right here, and we have great um, actors and actresses that are well equipped and educated to teach the the young people in the city of Trenton or any city in an urban community to be just as good. And we have scholarships, so we're partnering with uh, the city of Trenton High School okay. to uh, do some performing arts and offer scholarships to them as well. So I'm glad you did mention that. I wanted to backtrack with Ben because you know, he had said earlier that he when he Join the group, you saw the vision. Now, where do you see if you if everything goes according to plan, where is the grand scheme going? Like how do you see this being in the next three, four years? The sky the limit. Yeah. It's, it's, it's no stop. Um, like I said, then I tell the group, this is where we're at now. I'm not looking to go backwards. We trying to go to the sky. Right. I mean, as far as like, do you plan on like taking it on the road, going on tour, bringing in acts from across the globe, going internationally? Um, yes. I don't want to. I don't want to put our hands out. Yet. I don't want to put our hands out. But wait, yeah, we're, with James, but James yeah. said yes. We have, yeah, but yeah, and that's James has to get some exclusive rules. Yeah. 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 No, that's what I wanted to say. I want to go out there, but we got things, you know, worked out, and um, it's coming. That's what I said. We're we're going. We're trying to get there. Okay. And, and we're, we're going yes. to work. We're, we're, not yeah. we're, we're, we're going to get there. <laughs> right. We we can't give you the whole vision because it's 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 still coming. It's in place and it's in progress. But yes, you know, we uh, sky's the limit. Like Buzz said, um, we're looking to do um, some plays. You know, dealing with um, different artists, poetry as, as Malik himself. He's got some skits to do, and you know, you know we want to. Uh, uh, associate um the the some some high school children inside of the different um skits that we're going to be um, arranging and you know and doing some different productions with them so sky's the limit um but the vision is still in progress you know what i'm right. saying um so but international yeah we want to put trenton on a on the map international yes even though it is already on a map but we want to put it on a map for poetry also yeah, i was just asking because right. i mean with we're, like, we're talking about Trenton and we're talking about compared to other cities. Mm -hmm. The things that other cities do that we don't really do is like when there is an actor, or there is some type of talent or some type of event that's going on. Right. In other cities, they get so big that they give up and comers opportunities. Yeah. So like even like you're saying, you're doing plays, it might get somebody that never ever been on stage before a chance to come in, you know, oh, mm -hmm. absolutely be a grip or be something. Yeah. Absolutely. And then they can actually build up a resume from there. Yeah. So, that's you know, I was just saying, like, I was just bringing it up because, you know, people might be watching this and thinking, OK, well, this is interesting, but I don't know anything. So where would I be able to fit in? Well, mm -hmm. we another thing we didn't talk about tonight. We're we're going to be teaching, and that's where Malik falls in. That he's a excellent teacher. So you're not only going to be exposed to the poetry, you're going to be taught the poetry. 
And we talked about opening up classes and things of that sort, but we don't want to jump ahead and and we don't want to give date. just too much, right? You know what I mean? just, to, just to put but, us out there to the world. Yeah. We don't want to give too yeah. much, you know what I mean? Just to have us all the way out there. Yes, and then, and, then, and then global, yeah. what Supreme global, Alliance yeah. will be owning. Like, where's that? Here, yeah. yeah. where's, where's <laughs> Professor Malik? That yeah. 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 but that's what we're gonna be moving towards. Okay. Um, um, yeah, because um, I want it's something I want to express um about my story in context to the whole the whole mission. And we was joking earlier, like, yeah, she was saying, yeah, you're from the city now, you know. But um, my story is, is like, I got a, a pretty unique story as far as my life story. But I want to say this, you know, like I said, I was born in Jersey City. Um, I've lived in Camden off and on for 20, 20 years. Um, my thing is like the hood period, the urban areas period. Like I would be willing to go all over to every hood and do this because my heart is like, I'm, I'm right now we in Trenton and I'm thankful because that I ran into James cause he's helping, you know, he's really, he got a great vision to work in. And I think we all had that vision of expanding and I, and me like, yeah, it's about Trenton, but it's about every, every Different expression. It's yeah. about everywhere that needed. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's how, where I'm at. Like, I want to go everywhere. I want to be the dude. I seen him. He was in Trenton. He was in Camden. He was in Philly. <laughs> that dude be everywhere. He really involved, you know, like with, with the uplifting of us period. Mm -hmm. That's really where it is. And like my, I was telling them, like I do poetry, but you know, my heart I think is really in teaching, man. Awesome. Um, um, and as far as that, I think what I know, I won't say I think, but what I know is that I think a lot of young brothers and sisters could use the teachers that they can relate to mm. with things they can relate to. Mm. And I, I really feel as though like that's a God given for me, like a God given gift for me. Like it's out of my hands. Like that's who God has created me to be. And, and what he's created me to do is to be that educator that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. right. And that's important. And so, that, I, and just as capital, I think that's, and really, I really feel like that's the whole Trent divine poetry vision. And, you know, period, all of us, you know, I think we all just trying to be the hand to God, you know what I mean? Through a specific venue, which is the entertainment, or I should say edutainment and poetry and stuff like that. Am I right, yeah. fellas? That's, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's what's so up. So James gives an exclusive date when the, the, the whole, <laughs> where we're going to start and everything. Well, you, you, um, you find your material you have like CDs or, or I you never know, know, have you know, books yet or have you done Haven't written any books, haven't made any CDs, mm -hmm. just been doing shows, you know, yeah. and really trying to get to, um, like they're talking about, man, you know, I write, I write, I've written plays, you know, and we try, we want to, I want to get to, I'm pushing for that level, a whole higher level than just passing out a CD to you. I'm really trying, you know, with these brothers, I'm really trying, like Buzz was saying, we trying to go off to the sky, man. Seriously. We That's trying. amazing. I know what it sounds like is passion. It's just bottom line, it's passion. Straight passion. When you have a passion for something, yeah. it does go to, you want to teach it. You, you feel like somebody got to know this and I, and yeah. I, and it's so much here where I got to give it instead of just being it as an entertainment source or, you know, or just inspirational. Right. You want to begin to teach people because you know that passion knows passion. Mm. So you'll see some young brothers yeah. from the urban community or sisters, like and then you know that it's something in them that's passionate, but they haven't tapped into it yet. Oh, but you, you've seen it. Right. So yeah. that's what gives you the drive to say, oh no, I got to teach it now. Yeah. So mm. that's where that is coming from because- I'll talk about 122 Blues at all. Oh, you got expedition? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask because- No, I mean, it, it, it's, it's your, you know, that's your, that's oh, your, that's your- right, um, let me just, just, I wrote, uh, this piece about my experience, um, my experiences, you know, and it's so funny because the universe is always causing me to bump into people that I'm thinking like they need, they either need to hear this or this is, this is for them. Mm -hmm. And it constantly happens. You see what I'm saying? And it constantly happens. So, um, and that fuels the passion because let me tell you something. I don't know any millionaire poets yet. I'd like to be one, <laughs> okay? <laughs> My man K. Peter, uh, what is his name? K. P. from Philly. He he had a poem one time. And he was he was saying that he was like, you know, he was getting on the conscious community, like, yo, don't be sitting there like you. All you listen to is Erica Badu and and Common. You know, you, you you know, you like some of that rough music too. You know, 
um, and don't diss them because they make a million dollars at it. I would love to make a million, but the point is, like, sometimes, my point I was trying to make was sometimes I get frustrated, but when those moments come, when the universe sends them people my way, that's the, the universe's way of saying, look, you got to keep doing what you're doing because somebody needs this. And that's where, that's this vision here. Somebody need this, whether they need to hear the words we speaking, whether they need to come to that atmosphere and just feel clear, whether it's a child there that's going to be inspired. Somebody need this, man. I need it. Yep, that's true. So that's speaking good. of needing something real quick, because we got we got a few more a few minutes left. You know what I mean, um, usually we have Mister, you know, Brother Jay to do, do his thing. You know what I mean, uh, every show he he gives us he gives us keyboards or he gives us poetry. So I'm mean, gonna put him on the spot this time. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time you don't put me on the spot. What you give us like? I mean, something something real, real, real hard. Something something that you got in your heart, real quick. Let's get to the people real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now. Give us a uh, just a two a two minute. You tell them how long? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Malik got seven minutes. Right he, right he got skits in him. Yeah. He got skits in him. <laughs> yeah, we got to give Malik a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't put an artist on the spot like that. Uh, but they do. And I everybody know. that knows me does it to me. So, uh, <laughs> you know, like, okay, another one. So anyway, um, what is the, this is, let me give you a piece of, um, one called the Kingdom of Heaven that me, James, and uh, oh, you, James, and Tyrone actually did this uh, piece together. And um, that's a little bit over two minutes. <laughs> no, no, he goes. Go. And, and if we're lucky, and if we're lucky enough, we could get James to sing a tune with that. <laughs> All right. So um, it starts out. It says, um, "Sometimes." I just sit back and I think about the foolishness of purely materialistic rulership, how disguised the foolish ships and the world propaganda machine is full of it. Honestly, I really stopped listening to them a long time ago when I was called to change myself back into true diamonds and gold. It's like being reborn inside the inner earth, forced to deal with extreme heat, mad pressure, forced to deal with all of the world's anguish, all of the world's hangups, misplaced anger, misappropriated funds, dark secrets in unsuspecting church basements, the being born black and how it changed the fixture in this this three-dimensional picture. I'm one that minus the racist race and re-embracing who we truly are, man, because every time my soul bleeds, it leads the light of the stars from a consciousness called sacred black. And I'm gonna leave it like that. How about that? What? So, because you know what he said, he said said two minutes, so, you know. That's good, that's good. He said, you did good, you did well. That's funny, man. Oh, yeah. March yeah. 9th. Yeah, yeah. over March Pat. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What time does the show, doors open at the show start? Uh, doors open at 6. Uh, Trit and Divine Poetry Night Out, March the 9th, open art pack. Um, we will be honoring Donald T. Evans, the uh, educator, playwright, and um, professor. So come on out. Enjoy yourself. It's going to be a blast. You know, March the 9th. March the 9th. Open mic as well? We got open mic, a short open mic. And then we're going to have um, Brother Malik and Brother Mike, MDB, and me as the features. And then we're going to have dinner served. Dinner served. That comes with the $20 fee. So you don't have to worry about buying your dinner. It's all included. So, wow. uh, yeah. So you get all of that for $20. It's a unique, it's a unique event. And there are times when people go back for seconds and thirds. Mm-hmm. It's okay. just that much food. So let me tell them how they can get their tickets. Uh, they have a ticket link, but it's attached to our website, and it's openartspack.org. That's O-P-E-N-A-R-T-S-P-A-C.org. And then you can find uh, Trenton Divine Poetry. Click their link, and you can purchase a ticket right online for just $20. So again, it's openartspack.org. Uh, is there more at the door, or is the same ticket cost online? It's 25 at the door. Okay. So you have physical so, tickets as well, right? We have physical tickets as well. So um, you can pay twenty five at the door if you're unable to uh, go on and purchase the tickets online. Hey, so you anything to say, bro, before we close this thing out, man? Uh no, we're going to, I mean, basically all I'm gonna tell you is that we're gonna to try to bring in more guests. We're gonna definitely bring on more poets, we're gonna bring on more acts. Anybody that's interested, hit us up. We'll be happy to talk to anybody. Um, thank you for your support, and 
he rocking with us. Right. And I just want to thank Global Podcast for allowing me to join forces on your podcast. My podcast is on stage uh, with Open Arts Pack. And what we try to do, our vision is to bring in performers and actors uh, so we can talk about the behind the scenes and give tips uh, and tricks on how you do this thing. So this was a nice little benefit mm -hmm. um, and some gravy for us. So thank you so much for uh, Global Podcast, uh, Supreme Alliance, a, for allowing us to join forces uh, with this. Experience that I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you all for having us. Uh, Global Podcast, uh, Open Art Pack. Thanks for having us out. Uh, it's a beautiful venue, and uh, we're gonna make it happen. Brother Ace, brother. brother Just, peace. Uh, just look out for us, man. You know we're in the building, and we're gonna keep going. No doubt. Let's get anything you gotta say to the people real quick. Um. Hi, mom. Anything? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. You do. Yeah. We're just gonna ask everybody to come out. You're gonna have a great time, and. Once you come to this place and expose to open art pack, you're gonna love it. It's the best kept secret. Come on out and join us. Thank you. And that that is the truth. Because when I first came here to see this venue for my oh, comedy yeah, shows, it. it was I, I fell in love with this building from day one. And everybody that comes set foot in this door, every community that comes sit foot in this door, fall in love with this building the same way I did the first time I saw it. So you definitely have a wonderful experience here. Um, just make sure your 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 uh, your your motor vehicle. Uh, this is all correct. Coming up to We're in Boyd Town. You're in Boyd Town. <laughs> we are located in Boyd Town. Make sure your conditions are all correct and up to date and every day we come to Boyd Town. Right. So, so if you're in this area, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? If so, you're interested in using space, if you are watching and you're a performer, if you want to do anything, uh, you can also go to our website, openartspack.org, and you can reach out and connect with me. And I'll have my theater manager reach out to you if you want to use this space for your venue. But right now, we're getting locked down, so you better get in touch with me real fast. Yeah, I got to my days the rest of the year for the comedy show. Yes. So, speaking <laughs> of the comedy show, yeah, back here, day, uh, yeah. March 16th, the week after the, uh, the poetry, the Tend Around Poetry Night Out. Um, take my funny boat comedy shows back in 16th of March. Yes. Uh, then we're getting back in April on the 20th. Uh, then we June, I forgot, but we're back in June. What's too, your so date okay. in June? Uh, I don't, I don't yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can't give it to me now? Yeah, they're working out dates. That's so yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got because we got to lock it June too. Yeah, they better lock, lock you dates. Yeah. So we'll talk. We'll like talk. I mentioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you, said, you said June was all open all month. So I got okay. the 22nd. I think. Yeah, not okay. long. Yeah, because we want to we want to do something. Reach out to Justin as we introduce our next project. We want to introduce our next. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Open our pack. Shout out to my man, Blessed Child. You know what I'm saying? Stretched out clothing for the uh, sponsoring the podcast. Shout out to the other podcast we, uh, we produce, um, Congregation. AEI. Um, Congregation. Shout out to also uh, Honestly Nerd Podcast. Tune in to them on my, tomorrow. Uh, Honestly Nerd Podcast. Anybody's in sci fi, uh, Marvel Comics, and all that, make sure y'all tune in to that podcast as well. Shout out to my, uh, my man, Chris, and, and Ray, and everybody. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's us. We Global Unlimited Podcast. We're wrapping it up. Make sure y'all here next Saturday, March 9th, in this building right here. I'm mm -hmm. saying Open Arts Pack, Boyd Town, 146 Route 130. 146 Route 130. Same 130. lot as uh, Emma Story's, Emma Story's Brock Line. Divine Poetry. Those open at six, door starts at? Door open at six, door says seven. Then make sure y'all in the building. You know what I'm saying? In the building. And we out. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Right. Hey, bye bye. Bye bye. Right. Nice. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Appreciate you. Now, Jess, that'll be on your page. Oh, you tagged me, so it'll be on my page.